Hello everyone, family and friends. Uh, we've just basically finished the worship on a most awesome, we had an awesome time, a divine encounter. We do this every Friday, one o'clock at our house in Edenvale. So if you ever want to join us, come and join us here. We're excited, although you've got a book, otherwise you won't get in. But we, we don't like to have too many people uh, because we, we really want an intimate time with the Lord Jesus and we want to encounter the Lord. So we call this a divine encounter. So we've just finished the worship. I've never done a live one after the worship like this, or we did it back in 2015, but I just felt that I need to do this on, on Facebook. So if you join us now or later, God bless you, and I may the Lord bless you. Because the Lord is, um, I just want to share a testimony of this week, what the Lord did uh, for myself and Miriam and uh, our son uh, Daniel. And uh, because we've been in, in, in a fight for the last week, we've been in a fight over Daniel's health and we've had such a difficult time with Daniel. Um, he's, been, he's been suffering with sickness and uh, we've had a lot of people praying. We've been praying. You guys have been praying. We appreciate your prayers, but we just couldn't overcome. And um, so, so, you know, it was difficult because Miriam was in a, a difficult place. When, you're, when your son is sick um, or your child is sick, it's really difficult. Um, because you're getting attacked emotionally and she's not sleeping at night. I'm not sleeping at night, literally maybe two, three hours sleep a night for the last week or so. So anyway, so what, what I can't remember what night this was, but anyway, one night this week, um, in the, is, is, uh, I, was, I said to the moon and she said, look, let's just pray over this. So we really prayed and we, uh, we, we watched and prayed. And, and, um, and I was just saying to Miriam, I said, Miriam, you know, you cannot make Daniel breathe. You cannot make yourself breathe even. You cannot make your child breathe. Every breath that your child gets, um, he, he gets from the Holy Spirit. He gets from God. So we've got to trust every breath because we've had a, we have had a traumatic time with Daniel. Um, when he was just born, three days after he was born, he, was, he, he stopped breathing. For, for, you know, basically, he died and God raised him up. And so we really, um, we really have been struggling in this area. Um, because the enemy's been attacking his breath. And um, so, hi, how's it, Neil? How's it, uh, Oriel, Oriella Nana? I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Welcome. Just um, thank you. Thank you for joining us. And if you've got any, any questions or prayer requests or anything, just post them on, 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 the, on the stream now. If I can't get to them now, I'll get to them later. But I just believe that this stone, this what we call a stone, when we get together here on Fridays, um, we get together at the table, and we, we share testimonies and we, we go around the table and, and we have a chance for everyone to share their testimony. These st we call it stones. So you overcome, look at the accuser, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony. And we've got to give testimony of what Jesus has done in our lives. We've got to speak it out because it says you overcome by the word of your testimony. Mm, not the word of someone else's testimony. Mm. So you need to have a testimony. In other words, what is Jesus doing for you? So I'm testifying to you and I believe that as I release this word and you listen to this word... You can take the word and you can say, yes, Lord, believe it. And you can say, yes, do it for me. Because the word testify means do it again. It, it actually saying to the Lord, do it again. When we remind God, we're saying, do it again. Hallelujah. Amen. Shalom. Imelda, God bless you. Hallelujah. Thanks for joining us. And uh, just type in the, where you're from in South Africa. Well, wherever you are in the world, just type in where you're from. We greet you in the name of Jesus. We're in Edenville here. And we just finished a divine encounter. And we're just excited about what the Lord is doing. And I'm just busy testifying now about what the Lord did for us this week. We've been going through a very difficult trial with our younger son, Daniel. And we've been trusting the Lord for his healing. We've been standing uh, and we've been praising the Lord for that. And uh, so what happened was we were, we were really getting discouraged because it was going on and on. And we weren't getting sleep. In fact, what was happening is he's, it was getting worse. Hallelujah. You know. Hallelujah. Welcome. I see you from uh, Cameroon. Oriel. Hallelujah. Welcome to Cameroon. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, and, and it was getting worse. You know, when you pray and things get worse, what do you do? Okay, so now we're going to look at what we do. So the, what the Lord has taught us to do is, um, first thing is always repent. Um, but sometimes you can't even repent. You don't even know what to repent of because you, you're just so full of nonsense. Um, you know, when I say nonsense, uh, full of unbelief, full of darkness, you're feeling terrible. You don't feel very spiritual. There's no, you can't feel the presence of God. You're feeling um, discouraged. Um, you know that the Lord loves you. I, I, I really know the Lord loves me. I'm thinking like, what, what else must we do? 
you know, we've got people praying, we are praying, we are praising the Lord, we're doing everything we know how. And then, then, then the Lord, we, we stopped everything. This was about 8 o'clock at night, okay? We stopped the bus, <laughs> and Daniel had just had a major cop, a coughing fit. He, he was coughing, and he can hardly cough, and then he chokes. And so what happens is we just, we just stopped the bus there, and we said, okay, uh, I said to Miriam, let's just watch and pray. You know, God has taught us to watch and pray, and uh, that's very important. If you, if you don't know what to do, stop the bus, literally, even if it's your car, stop the bus, Cape Town, hallelujah, welcome Cape Town, Joburg, hallelujah, stop the bus and watch and pray. And so we just close your eyes, all right, what you do, because you don't know what to do, because remember Jesus said, I only do what I see, the Father doing. So I, I shut my eyes, Miriam shut her eyes, and we just got calm, and I, and I just knew that we needed a miracle, we need a miracle from God, we are not going to be able to heal him with our own power, even the prayers and I'm not saying prayers weren't working, but we wanted faster. We wanted quicker. And, and so the Lord is teaching me and is teaching Miriam how to really stand in faith in a very difficult situation. I know a lot of you are in difficult situations. Maybe it's financially, especially in the area of finances, number one. And the other one is health. And the third one is relationship. And those two, those three. And the enemy is targeting the remnant, specifically the remnant, those that are really called by God to, 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 to be forerunners. And, and God's giving you awesome visions and revelation. The enemy is going for your finances. The, the enemy is going for your relationships. The enemy is going for your health and he's going for your families. So I'm just going to close this thing here because it's like a bright light in the background. Okay, so that should be easier. All right, so what happens is we watched and prayed. When you watch and pray, all you do is just say, okay, Lord, show us now what you're doing. Just ask the Lord, show us what you're doing. And we normally, what we do is we focus on Jesus on the cross. Just close your eyes, imagine, imagine. you can use your imagination. Yes. Imagine Jesus on the cross. Amen. Okay, so that's an imagination. Okay, not a vain imagination. There's vain imaginations and, there's, and then there's good ones. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So what happens is you just look at Jesus and you just say on the cross, you can look at him bleeding. You can look at the thorns on his head. You can look at the nails. On, 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 uh, in his hands and you just say Jesus show me what you're doing mm. so we asked the Lord what's he doing and immediately when I looked at him I heard these words it is finished yeah. it is finished and I heard a door I heard a door uh, hallelujah um, because normally it's, it's my, my wife is a seer Miriam's a seer you know Miriam she can see she gets videos so it's not like me I'm the one that's you know has lots of visions or anything like that so I see with the eyes of my heart and I, I look to Jesus and he, and, he, and he shows me things. But this was very clear. Door shut. And then he said to me, it is finished. And the door shut. And the door and the gate that is shut is the gate of hell. It's the door to hell is shut. When he said it is finished. Yeah, it's written here. It's written. You see, it's written. All right. So when Jesus, this is now John 1930. He says, so when Jesus received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. It is finished. What is finished? Everything that the Father had sent him to do was finished. The work was finished. Yes. Your salvation was finished. Your healing was finished. Because by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. Mm -hmm. So the Lord says it's finished. And he says, that gate is shut. He says, the moment you go into unbelief, you open the gate of hell. Mm -hmm. Unbelief. Yes. So this was amazing because a few days before, we, were, we God was just, I'd released that song, um, from Bethel, uh, uh, raise a hallelujah. And that testimony there was all about the spirit of unbelief um, that, that appeared before Jonathan in his heart. He could just see this huge giant of unbelief. And the Lord said, raise a hallelujah. Raise a hallelujah. Raise a hallelujah. So in other words, we need to actually cast out the spirit of unbelief yes. with our faith. So, so the Lord said, shut the gates of hell. And then what happened was um, the Lord then showed Miriam uh, then we watched and, and we and I shared this. As I shared it, she saw like two sets of gates. It's quite amazing. I mean, you see my hands now. Okay, so here's the gate of hell and here's the gate of heaven. And they weren't like opposite each other. They were like this, like a corner. Okay, so you can see like a corner like this. So the moment this gate opens, the gate of hell, this gate can't open. And you have a, a, a funnel and a hallway of hell just going into your life. So this gate opens and all hell comes into your life. Okay, and if this gate opens, then the gate of hell cannot open, and then heaven comes into your life. So you you can't have both of them. They cannot open together. Okay, so it's and and this is basically a, a continuation of what God showed Miriam: the gates of provision, 
The gates of provision, Amen. we need to open. The gates of hell, we must shut. And Jesus said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. The gates of hell, the gates talks about government. The gates is the government of hell. So Jesus finished the government of hell and he, and he overcame basically death, hell and the grave at the cross right there. Death, hell and grave was overcome Amen. for you and for me. And so he's just saying, shut the gates. Shut the Hallelujah. gates. Shut the gates of hell right now. So today, I just want to encourage you to shut the gates of hell. So we're going to do it practically. I'm going to pray with you. that You can shut the gates of hell over your family, over your health, over your finances. And he's also told us you can go, you can go to our website or you can go to Google and just Google shutting the gates of hell over your city. And you go to an article where we're talking about shutting the gates of hell and how to do this shutting the gates of hell and stop forwarding all these negative e uh, emails and whatsapps and facebook posts we must open the gates of hell do not open the gates of we must shut the gates of hell we must open the gates of heaven and the problem is we're trying to do both you have to decide which one you want open and which one you want closed so so the, the just before i pray i just want to share this valuable part with you we were giving him like vitamin C and there's a lot of healthy things we were giving him to build his immune system and, and, and he was like refusing it because he, he didn't want to take it. He's only four years old. Mm -hmm. So I was really in a situation, I think, what happens if he doesn't take it? And the, and the Lord was basically saying to me, then I can heal him. Do not Amen. trust in the medication. Let me tell you, Amen. do not trust in doctors. Do not trust. I'm not saying don't go to doctors. Don't, don't give your children medication. I'm not saying do not trust in them. Do not put your trust in them. And, and the Lord showed Neil a vision that tied into this um, the day before he was praying of us uh, or the two days before that he prayed and he, and he over us and he saw that a strong hand was lifting up like a corner of a tent and inside then the gates of, it was like opening a gate of hell and all these demons were coming in. But it was the strong arm of the flesh. And I thought, what is that? And then he, the Lord said, you're trusting in the arm of the flesh. Do not trust in the arm of the flesh. Do not trust in medication. Do not even trust in vitamins. I, I'm not saying don't have them, but do not lean on them. Uh, you can take them and say, Lord, you're the healer. No amen. doctor, no medicine, no food can heal my child. Jesus didn't walk around giving people medicine. Yes. He never gave, He walked around giving people vitamins and all kinds of things, Let's as see. good as they are. And I, I, I'm, I'm fully for, for, for eating healthy. But there's sometimes uh, the enemy, when he's attacking you, it's not just something that you need to actually balance your, your, your diet. It is something, it's demonic. Amen. And what happens is, you don't care what you eat, you, how much vitamin C, you're not going to cast out a demon with vitamin C. Okay, so <laughs> I'm serious. I'm 100% for vitamin C. So you must know, this is spiritual, this is natural. And I believe he said 100% natural, 100% spiritual. But if you just go the natural and pray, it's not enough. Did you hear that? If you just go the natural route and pray, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. so when, since when is prayer not enough? Well, well, Jesus said that he, the, 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 the prayer of faith will save the sick. So praying alone will not save you. The prayer of faith will save you and then thanksgiving, praise and worship. So he was saying that the arm of the flesh where we opened the door over our child was because we were actually trusting in the, the medication or the vitamins and everything we were giving him. As good as they are. So uh, we repented for that. And we, we just we stopped that nonsense. And we repented. And we asked the Lord to fill us. And, and deliver us from unbelief. Amen. And fill us with faith. And then we raised another hallelujah. And hallelujah. this is the fight that we, we've been having this week. So I just want to encourage you just to do that. So we're just going to, we're just going to come to the Lord. And we're going to ask Him to show you now what He's doing. So close your eyes wherever you are. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, close your eyes. Amen. Lord Jesus, we come to you. And we ask you to show us what you're doing over our families, over our health, over our finances, over our relationships. In Jesus' name, even over our ministry. Just close your eyes and look. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. What do you see Jesus doing? Just wait on him. Just let us wait on the Lord. We wait on you now. Holy Spirit, we wait on you. And we ask you to op open our eyes now. Open our eyes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I ask you to show us right now what you're doing for people even watching this right now, Lord. Give us a clear vision. Give us a word in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord, the Lord has released a word. 
for us. And now, before we release the word, we just want to repent. Let's repent. Lord, we repent for trusting in the, our own clever schemes, for trusting in our own skills in business and in ministry. Forgive us for even trusting in our own gifts. Forgive us for trusting in ourselves. Forgive us for um, depending on the arm of flesh and not looking to you. Right now, in Jesus' name, I trust in you. Just say, I trust in you for healing, for deliverance, for finances, and for grace over my entire situation in Jesus' name. Now, right now, I receive it. I receive your grace. And I now raise a hallelujah. Just raise a hallelujah. Hallelujah! hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Loud. You've got to get loud. Hallelujah. I raise hallelujah. I praise the Lord. For those who don't want to shout, God says make a joyful noise. And he says, God, God inhabits the praise of His people. And if you don't praise Him, you can't praise Him in your head. You've got to praise Him with your mouth because it's the prince of power of the air. He inhabits the air. And you've got to take the air in your house. You've got to take the air in your neighborhood. You've got to make a joyful noise. That, that's what we've got to do. Make a joyful noise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Someone type, hallelujah! Type Woo! it in the box, hallelujah! You watching? Type hallelujah! Praise the Lord! We raise the hallelujah! And if you don't know, if you don't know that song, um, by Bethel, I'll post it later on. I'll post it, a link in the chat here or below. I'll, chose, uh, I'll post that link. Also, what I want to do is I want to bless you with our, a free book. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll pro, uh, you go to fatherslove.co.za forward slash tpw. You can get a book called uh, Accessing Your Inheritance through Thanksgiving Praise and Worship. You can get that book for free. That's for a limited time. We're going to give it to you for free. You can go there, fatherslove.co.za forward slash tpw, Thanksgiving Praise and Worship. You can go and get that book. I just want Neil to share what the Lord gave him now. Did anyone get a, a vision when we were, when we, when we yes, was? Yes, I had something. Right, I Billy. saw Satan very fiercely. Billy, well, why don't you come here? Just here, yeah, you have to just go low, go low. Here comes Billy. Hallelujah. There's Billy. Yeah. That's Billy, the Rababalist. Hallelujah. <laughs> Such a way I am. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Hallelujah. I saw a vision when one was talking about the door, gate of hell opening and the gate of heaven opening. I saw when the gate of hell was open, <laughs> Satan felt very welcome and he came walking out like in his very satanic form, majestically with his three pitchfork in his hand and he came out to destroy and he was very very like vicious looking and then when the door was closed he had to retreat and then I saw Jesus coming out with a big smile on his face with the glory around him when the door of blessing was open and I saw Jesus coming out with a big smile and glory on his face and a light around him shining out and he came out with power and majesty and glory <laughs> yes. to come and bless his church and to come and bless his people. That's what I saw. The devil on the one side coming out to the fork to destroy when the Still gate of hell was destroy. opened. Three and when the gate of heaven was opened, Jesus came out with all his glory and power and he had like a big like a bowl in his a ball in his hand that was shining like glory to impart it. To his people, the glory to the, <laughs> Hallelujah. To the of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just, just bless the people there. Thank you, Lord. Bless, receive it in the glory of God. Receive the glory. Receive the glory. <laughs> receive the power. Yes, come on. Prophet receive the yes. vision. Hallelujah. Receive your breakthrough. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Take what Jesus has for you yes. and resist and refuse what the devil has got for yes. you. Yes. Receive the blessing of Jesus yes. now. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So what is awesome? What is awesome? What is awesome with that is that the devil has a three-prong approach: steal, kill, and destroy. That's his fork. John ten ten. That's a, that's the fork of the devil: steal, kill, and destroy. A three-prong approach. So we now resist. Come, let's resist. We resist poverty. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. We resist infirmity and sickness in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. We resist disease in Jesus' name. Amen. We resist strife in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And we release the glory of God in our families. We release unity in Jesus' name. We release peace over our families in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. Okay, over to Neil. Neil's got something to share. Hallelujah. He had the hot, hot seat. This is spontaneous, by the way. Yes. We didn't plan it. Yeah, we didn't plan this. <laughs> uh. Okay, what, 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 the way it works around here is during the worship, the Lord just shows us stuff and it's amazing how every time it all just comes together, it's all the same thing. So when I heard Warren speaking, I got so excited because during the worship, um, I, I heard the Lord say, it's all about the resurrection. It's all about the resurrection because at the resurrection, you've heard it already, he just said it. He said the resurrection, death was defeated. Yes, yes. <laughs> the grave was defeated. <laughs> the grave was defeated. What else was defeated? Everything. Was, but so, hell. So, so, hell. and hell was defeated. So I, 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 I sort of got this, and I was so excited. You know, when you get when you kind of hear the word of the Lord, you got all excited. Then we, I did what what we've been t taught to do here is to click on it, like you know, like a website. You click on it. You say, Lord, tell me more about this. Yes. And immediately I saw a vision of a massive earthquake, but it was like an earthquake, something like a blow was struck. The dimensions. It's a, I, can't, I have no way, the way to explain this. It's like the dimensions were struck, and it's like, like death was, was dealt that that, that, that that death blow was, was came at, at the point of resurrection. There was actually a physical earthquake, and and then I said, wow! And I, I, I mean, I'm seeing an earthquake, but I know it's a spiritual earthquake that happened at the point that Jesus was raised from the dead. <laughs> it was lovely. And then I, 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 I clicked for more. I said, show me more. And then I saw life. We literally saw life force, force explode from where this where this this this, this rupture had happened between. Amen. This is a kingdom breaking in, actually. <laughs> it's the kingdom of God breaking in. So th there was this life force that just erupted. It's no wonder there were graves. There were people walking all over the city that that yes, you know, were raised to life. It's like yeah. a, a foretaste so of the rapture. <laughs> the it's just they couldn't help themselves. <laughs> There's so much life around. You just come alive Look out of the grave. So I just wanted to. I was just so excited that uh, you can hear. I'm quite excited. Um, that uh, it's all about the resurrection. <laughs> yeah. In, in, in the beginning. Okay. Over church, to Warren. Warren wants to talk. That's Neil. Neil. That's yeah, by the way, it's Neil. Bless you, Neil. All right. So you know when they started preaching in the beginning, what did they preach? They preached the resurrection. Mm. They preached the resurrection. Yes. So you're preaching the resurrection. Yes. So because of that, <laughs> Hallelujah. How's it? <laughs> I see Conrad is on the line. Yeah. Hello, Conrad. Conrad or Christelle, I'm not sure. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! You can hail share this, please, uh, please, please. Hail Jesus! The hail. It's trying to uh, the hail. We, we we just stop the hail now. In Jesus' name, we stop the hail. When the hail comes, you stop it and you say, "Hail Jesus!" Hail Jesus! Hail Jesus! Hail Jesus! Hail Jesus! Hail Jesus! Hallelujah! Oh, hail Jesus! We find the hail. We say no hail over this place. No hail. God said this week, we make the weather. We're not under the weather. We make the weather. And we don't accept hail on your property in Jesus' name. Amen. It's part of the curse. And we don't accept it. We just say, Lord, have mercy on us. And we bind the hail. No destruction in Jesus' name. And sometimes we have to blow the shofar. Especially when it comes to heavy hail. We don't accept it in Jesus' name. So, hallelujah. How's it, Christelle? Hallelujah. Please share. You can share at the bottom. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's Billy. The revivalist is blowing his shofar. <laughs> Come. Hallelujah. Blow that shofar, Billy. Yes. Hallelujah. Hail, stop, stop in the name of Jesus. Hail, stop in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There he is. Hallelujah. So we praise the Lord. We got a bun and rain, no more hail. And so, so we need to receive the resurrection right now. Because if the Lord says it's all about the resurrection, you must receive. So Lord, we receive. Hallelujah, Anita, welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we receive the resurrection now. Let's receive it. The resurrection in your, in your families right now. Hallelujah. Receive it, hallelujah. Receive resurrection in your families, your businesses, right now in your bodies. Your finances, resurrection, resurrection. Loose the angels of God right now. We loose life, 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 life. life. Abundant life in Jesus' holy name. Abundant life in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. Abundant 
life for you and your families. Hallelujah. We bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. All right. So we're going to all the time. God is good. Have an awesome Friday evening, weekend. Breakthrough was here 2,000 years ago, nearly 2,000 years ago. And it comes, breakthrough is the resurrection. What Neil described is break through, break out, resurrection for 2019. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Hallelujah. Shalom.